To replace sounds in the Source Engine, you can use almost any sound editing software. In this video, I will use Audacity, because it's free. Before we even start replacing sounds, you need to add a custom content folder to your game directories in which the sounds go. This folder allows the game to read the sounds out of that folder as opposed to the original sound file location. Without this folder, you will end up changing the original sound file. That cannot be undone unless you back up every sound or validate the game files. Open the folder in which your game is installed. You can do that by right-clicking the game in the Steam library and selecting Properties. Click on Local Files and then on the Browse button. This opens the folder containing everything related to the game. One of these folders is the main content folder. That one has the same name as the game executable. In my case, the executable is called left4dead2.exe, so the main content folder is left 4 dead 2 Open that main content folder. Open gameinfo.txt. This file lists all the locations where the game looks for content. Scroll down to where the game listings begin. Add a new line above everything, using a folder name for this mod you want to build. I'll call it custom underscore sounds, but the name is irrelevant, call it whatever you want. Save the file and close it. Copy the modified game info and leave the folder you're in, so you'll end back where the executable is. Create a new folder with the name you had just set in the game info. Open that folder in a new window and paste the game info in it. Now the custom content folder is ready. We can start looking for the sounds we want to modify. Some games, like Left 4 Dead 2, have DLC folders and update folders that could also contain sounds. If you cannot find your sound in the main content folder, check the DLCs or updates. The main content folder has a folder called Sound, which contains all audio for that game. I want to replace the Browning M2 machine gun sound. That sound is located in Sound, Weapons, 50 Cal. In the custom content folder, recreate the same folder setup for that sound file. Make a new folder called Sound, then Weapons, and now we can copy the 50 Cal folder into that custom content setup. Now we can edit this sound one of two ways. The original way requires you to make your custom sound to match the three criteria set by the original sound. Length, sample rate, abbreviated as Hertz or just HZ, and whether the sound is mono or stereo. If the length does not match, it will cut the sounds at whatever length the original ends and might even introduce a horrible screech. If the sample rate doesn't match, the game will resample the sound, making the pitch and speed change drastically. If you replace mono with stereo or vice versa, the system will glitch out entirely and loudly screech. However, we could ignore all of these three criteria if we used the second approach to making sound mods, in which we just create a new localized sound cache. More about that later. First, let's do the traditional way. Open the original sound in Audacity. Drag your custom sound into Audacity as well. The original sound here is stereo, so my sound needs to be stereo as well. My sound is stereo, but the right channel has these two annoying sounds in it which I don't want. I'll just make a new stereo that only has the left channel for left and right. To split stereo to mono, 
click this drop down marker and click on Split Stereo to Mono. The left and right channel will now be two separate mono channels. Alternatively, if you want to mix both channels into one single mono track, select the track and click on Tracks, Mix, Mix Stereo down to Mono. Now the left and right are combined into one. To convert mono to stereo, duplicate the track by double-clicking the waveform and pressing Ctrl and D. Then select both tracks, click on the drop-down menu again and select Make Stereo Track. My sound is also too long and has a different sample rate. Let's first make it shorter by selecting the end of the sound and dragging towards the end of the original until a yellow line appears. Now we selected every second of excess sound which we can delete. On this example we need to fade out the sound because it would end abruptly if we didn't. Select a chunk, click on Effect and Fade Out. If your sound is too short, drag select the missing part of the sound, click on Generate and Silence. At this point both sounds have the same length, but my custom sound still uses a wrong sample rate. The easiest way to change that is to select the custom sound, copying it and pasting it over the original. You can see the waveform has been replaced, but the sample rate is kept at the original. Delete the imported custom sound so you only have one track. Now you can save the sound and test it in game. If you did the entire setup with the custom folder, you can just start the game and do whatever is required to have the sound play. You could also use the console command play followed by location and name of the sound. Play, weapons, 50 cal, 50 cal shoot. It is possible that your sounds still have an audio glitch at the very end, even if the length matches. Adding a millisecond of silence at the end of the sound fixes that. I had this issue as well when I made the helicopter pilot voice mods, which would always give me audio bugs until I figured out that adding silence helps. And that's the traditional way of making audio mods. I will now begin explaining how to do it with a localized sound cache for longer sounds with different sample rate. If you don't want to know about that, you might as well just stop watching now. As mentioned before, you can ignore the need for matching length and sample rate if you create a localized sound cache, because the sound cache is the thing that checks how long a sound should be and what sample rate it has. But it being mono or stereo is sometimes decided by the sound script, so you still have to make those match. Localized sound caches for replacement audio only works when the sound cache is not inside any add-on. Which means that if you want to ship your mods to the workshop, everyone needs to do the entire custom content folder spiel to get the sounds to work. And depending on how they install your mod, they may even need to create sound caches themselves every time they install and uninstall one of these mods. Therefore, I strongly discourage doing it. Anyhow, I will use the exact same sound I had just used without changing the sample rate and I won't cut the length either. Okay. 
Once you have a custom sound with different length and sample rate, open the game and use the console command SND build sound cache for directory dot dot slash custom sounds slash sound. The custom sounds is the custom content folder we had made. Use whatever name you had called that folder. Depending on how many sounds are in that folder, this may take a second or a few minutes. Once it's done, it may or may not disconnect you from a loading screen. If it does not, use the command quit to close the game. Open the game once again and test your longer sound. That's all you have to do for a localized sound cache. If you have any problems with modding, join the dead for mods Discord server in which many people, including me, could help you out if you have problems. I also have my own Discord server in which I mostly just shitpost or post pictures of mods I'm working on. Links for both are in the description below. That's all for today. Take care and have fun modifying your sounds.